In early 2020, Google inexplicably removed the ability for the Google Play Store to notify users whenever an application had been updated. Now the company has brought back the settings in the Play Store application, but recent reports show that Google still has issues notifying users whenever an application update has been installed. So today, today I want to show you a third-party application that solves this issue since Google has yet to fix the problem. So if you open up the Google Play Store application and then dive into the settings area, you should see an option within the general section labeled notifications. And by default, this section likely looks like this, where we are set to receive notifications about charges or problems with payment methods. Then we have the option for updates available, set to automatically be enabled by default. And then we have a toggle that Google had previously removed to let us know when updates were completed. So first, I implore you to actually go into the settings of the Google Play Store application, turn on this toggle. Some OEM firmwares are a little bit different whenever you actually toggle something on. So this is MIUI. Your phone may look a little bit different, but you should get the same idea. So the first thing, like I said, I recommend that you go ahead and set this to updates completed, the toggle on, and then go ahead and test to see if the feature works for you. It's unlikely to. Now sadly, this feature again is not working for everyone. I do recommend you try it just in case it works for you. However, if you're still not having issues like many, many other people are having issues, then go ahead and go into the Play Store, search for an application called App Notifier. You're going to want to look for a green app icon from the developer Braden Farmer, at least as of recording this video right now. So this application was specifically created to restore the Google Play's missing, missing app update notifications which again happened in early 2020. So even though Google has said they brought this feature back, we're still able to use this third-party application, which is a free, small, third-party app from the Play Store that brings back those features. Once this application is installed, we can go ahead and open it up, and you're gonna be greeted with this simple single page at the top, we're going to tell this application if we want to get notifications for new application installs, for updates to existing applications, or both. So you can see by default, both of these are checked, but maybe we don't want to see updates or notifications for whenever a new application is installed. If that's the case, we just want to uncheck that box. If you're likely watching this video because you do want to have notifications whenever existing applications are updated. So if that's the case, we want to make sure the second box here is checked. Now we can also choose to display these notifications depending on the source of the application install. So if you're only using the Google Play Store, then we only need to have this top option enabled. However, if you're using another third-party application store, say F-Droid, which is a popular open source uh, application storefront, then you can select the second option there, and this, then it will give you notifications again, depending on what you have selected up here, whether you have installed an application from these sources or if you have just updated an application 
from one of these two sources. So not only that, but we also have the ability to configure the notification text style. We have two options here, the original, which mimics the Play Store. This would be for people who just don't want to see a bunch of different styles in the notifications. If you're used to how the notifications look from the Play Store, this will be much feel much more at home to you. However, if you want more detail, we can select the second option and then you'll be given more detail in the application notification itself. And before I show you this application in action, I wanted to let you know about the notification, the default notification that you're going to see after we install App Notifier. And just like it says, all we have to do is tap this in order to disable the notification for the foreground service. The reason why this is set to, uh, to enabled by default is because they have to, but the application needs to have a notification running so that it doesn't get killed in the background. Unless you go in and set these things to uh, ignore battery opti optimization, it's much easier for the app developer to just make the application keep a persistent notification. And we can hide that notification by doing this, by just tapping that notification and then toggling that notification channel off so that we can still get our update notifications while not be annoyed by the default notification that's there just so the application can run in the background. So now we can go into the Play Store. We can go in and update some apps just to give you a example of how that works. So you can see that application was updated. We have a notification sitting for us. We can see that the update is, or the notification is from the app notifier application. So even though we had that setting enabled in Google Play Store, you can still see we did not get that notification about the app being updated. However, App Notifier was there to save us and let us know that it was Google Pay that was just updated. So that wraps up today's video. That is how to receive notifications each time an application is updated from either the Google Play Store or a third party storefront such as F-Droid.